Hi guys, this is Jerry. Welcome to the channel. Today is a product review I've received from an online company. So this particular product is compatible with most vehicles or pretty much 99.9% .9 of vehicles on the market as long as you have a 12 or socket. And this will be really useful if you have a used vehicle or secondary vehicle you're using that does not come with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto or even or sometimes it does not even come with screen. So this will be extremely helpful if you have this product. As always, I'll leave all the timestamps down below so you can skip forward in terms of pricing, packaging, how to set up, how to connect, how to use the music source, everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's turn the camera around and get this started. All right, so this is what's in the package. When you get the package, first thing is obviously the screen itself. On the screen itself, we'll find things at the back so we get the mounting sort of clips and the at the back and we get full speakers around the unit itself so it does have inbuilt speakers in case you, you cannot connect that to your um, you know screen or anything like that then on this side we have the ports so we have a, quite a few ports for usb connection for the SD card connection uh, underneath we have the power outlet we have the AUX output cable as well so big screen it's reasonably light it's not easy not that hard to carry and then we have the charging port this is through your 12 volt socket or cigarette socket and then the 3.5 millimeter jack allow you to control our AUX connection allow you to connect the music or sound system Menu book that you can go through everything and the clips, mounting clips on your front windscreen and then the mounting thing on top of your dashboard and a small replaceable uh, mounting clips as well. So these are all what's coming in the package and in terms of pricing, this product is 239 US dollars or 360 Australian dollars. And you can easily convert this on the website. They do offer free shipping worldwide. And in most cases, the website will offer you a discount code that allows you to get somewhere around 10 to 20%. If you don't have the code, you can use my code to get 15% off down the underneath. But if you can get more discount on the online website, don't worry about my code. If you're looking to purchase this product, you can use my affiliated link down underneath in the description. You won't pay anything more than what you should pay, but instead I do a small percent of commission. All right, this part, I'll explain how to set this up. So we are gonna use the mount on top of the dashboard. So you get 3M stickers underneath that allows you to stick it on top of the dashboard. It's very solid. Um, there's no rattling anything when I tried it. And then behind the rack, obviously you have the connection rack behind this um, unit. So it's all connected, secured like this. Next, for the power outlet, we're going to use this um, 12 volt socket. Obviously, it goes into your vehicle 12 volt socket underneath. So the light came on as indication. That means everything is connected. We're going to connect, connect the wire behind the screen. And once it's connected, it will boot up just like this. There we go. So the boot has is reasonably fast. And this is how the screen looks like when in the default setting. So I'll quickly explain these menus first. Obviously you get home button, you get the volume button, you get the time, and then you get Bluetooth connection, you get light control, you get the image, you can change the background, you get the help center if you need help or anything like that. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, we have AirPlay, we have Auto Link, we have EQ setting, Bluetooth USB card, that means you can connect USB behind the um, center console for any USB storage to watch a movie or anything like that. You get FM transmitter, which I will explain that later. Settings, pretty simple, you can set these things up. Now I'll quickly show you how to connect Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So if you use iPhone, you click this. If you use Android, you click that. So go to iPhone CarPlay. Now let's go to the phone and then go to all the way to the bottom. As we can see, this top right come up and click that. Next, the vehicle asks you, do you want to pair this? Click yes and click allow. Obviously, pretty simple. And once we can see that, that's connected. And do you want to use Apple CarPlay? We are certainly yes, so use Apple CarPlay. There we go. Now our Apple CarPlay screen shows up. 
That means we can click the icon to give you a guide to navigation, uh, you know, to messages, to anything. If you do want to go back home, click a few ways, either car home, that means it will bring us back to here, or you can use these dots. So whenever you touch anything, these dots will come up. This is on top of the Apple CarPlay screen or Android Auto screen. So tap these dots, you have different selections of home button, music, main um, volume, and the mute button in the center. So that allows to go back home if you wish to. As per standard, you can make phone calls, you can make messages, you can push and hold this button for Siri command, just like that, the Siri will come, come in. So these are pretty simple. You can do all sorts of information. You can search your navigation guidance whenever you like. So this is really handy if you're using the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto feature. And next, if you want to set things up, you can do first thing, equalizer. So that means you can change all these to change to preset, classic, pop, rock, whatever you like, or return back. You can change your brightness left and right. The cool thing about this screen, it does have a auto brightness adjustment. If you enable auto, you have an auto sensor behind the screen to able to identify the, the light conditions you are facing. So again, that's really cool. Um, you can do Bluetooth. If you don't have, uh, how do you say, Apple CarPlay available, you can still do Bluetooth. You can connect the USB behind. You can connect SD card behind. If you have music storage, anything like that, this pretty much will replace your, you know, center screen or center unit, which again, some of you may not have a screen. So this will be very handy to do that. And next part, I'll show you how to play music from this particular device. There are quite a few ways. All right, so quite a few ways to play music or get the sound source from this particular screen. First source is don't you don't need to do anything. All you need to do is just boost up your volume on your phone through Apple CarPlay, through your YouTube Music or Spotify, whatever. Then it will come from the speakers behind the um, this particular unit. There are four speakers behind, I think. So this is how the sound sound like. I'm gonna play something on the phone. Just like that. So you can hear it came from this particular speaker. This is the first one. There we go. So second one, we're gonna use this FM transmitter. So click this icon over here. If it's green icon, that means this feature is enabled. We're gonna select whatever the, the um, FM transmitter or FM reception sort of uh, channel to be able to listen to this particular radio. Um, what we want to do, we want to select the radio channel that you know there's no other radio sort of compact. So let's say if we click 100.1, and then that means this is sound will play through 100.1 FM on this particular channel. And then now we want to go into the vehicle, whatever you have on the screen, we want to use the channel to be able to go up and down to search different channels, all that things. So we want to go all the way to 101. All right, now it's 101 set. That means 101 on the screen with the blue icon. So what we want to do, we want to enable the phone again to play through the speakers. At the same time, we want to use this. Can you feel this? the sound is getting surround ambient lighting? So we are using this particular speaker inside the vehicle and also we're using the um, radio sound in the, in the car. Uh, that means, I'll close this just in case it's too loud for you. So what that means is it's gonna use both speakers, first speaker in the vehicle, sorry, first speaker in the unit, second speaker in the car to give you a much better surround sound system while you're listening to this particular radio. So what you want to do, you want to make sure your volume on the, on the, on the, the vehicle has boosted up and then you can change the volume on this one as well. So in case you don't want the volume on this speaker anymore, you can just tap and bring your volume down where you, you're utilizing the vehicle speakers. So that's quite, actually quite a cool feature that allows you to connect to the car speakers as the car speaker probably will sound a little bit better than the screen individually. So that's the second way. And the third way, we're gonna use this particular cable that come with this particular unit. It's a sort of headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter, connect to the, the cable behind the steering, behind the unit, and then 
underneath we'll find this AUX so this is only available with a vehicle that has an AUX output or input if you don't have AUX unfortunately skip this uh, method you have to use the FM transmitter to connect to the car speaker I'll quickly show you all right now that AUX cord is connected to this AUX cord just make sure you when you connect connect the AUX cord behind it has to be AU out I think um, so to connect this particular device now we want to turn this off as we don't want the radio uh, connection anymore instead we're gonna play a music again from the phone there we go it came through the speakers in the car so this sounds much clearer compared to obviously the stereo speakers um, in terms of sound quality in terms of the fm trans transmitter quality as well so this is the better way just like this and then now you can control the music or sound sound volume on your steering on your uh, on your car instead of on this particular unit so that's the last way all right next part is the good things about this particular unit first thing i think it's reasonably very reasonably priced so in new zealand in comparison where um, i stay if you want to like say change your whole unit or to get a new replacement unit that actually come with apple carplay the money you pay at the local shop plus installation you'll be looking at definitely over 500 dollars depends on where you go and all that things new zealand dollars by the way where buying this unit will probably only get you sit you around three to 350 uh, new zealand dollars even including shipment and all that things and the installation is really really easy um, second thing you can use this for multiple vehicles and even if in the end you're going to change your vehicle at some point you're going to be very easy to find this to just take it off and put it on on the new car so very handy to use this particular screen and the third good thing i like it is the whole screen look so this is a very like crisp looking screen it's got 1080p high definition so the image quality or the graphics everything looks very sharp and the definition is definitely really really good and response time is very minimal so you can click this you can go phone you can go all the way this is very very easy to use just like that to go into out and in the screen and the booting time is very minimal too as soon as you switch on the vehicle with uh, you know with with the turning key and takes within a few seconds the screen will boot up and with another few seconds the apple carplay connection is already on the screen so that's really really handy if you want to use it as a daily daily thing but I also have a few concerns or potentially some small negativities about this screen. So if you live in New Zealand, you know, unfortunately the, the car theft or car breaking is unfortunately really, really awful over here in some places. Um, so putting a screen or universal screen on top of the screen like this will potentially put your car in danger if you park the car outside if you're living in some certain areas where the you know security things are not the best unfortunately so this might be the first concern um, although you can easily take this off well before you get in the car that still makes sense second thing is the visibility where in this car so as all the car manufacturer standard they are designing this particular dashboard you know to so you can see the in front of you everything where mounting this particular giant big big screen on this particular vehicle will block part of your um, sort of vision in front of you whether you are putting here putting on the left be on the screen it will still block to some percentage it's not like you mount your smartphone over here you can do on the you know, air vents stuff like that so potentially that's a second sort of concern where small things you have to get through i guess it's not that bad and if you do find this annoying just make sure this particular nine inch screen this is the, probably the biggest screen you can get from this company you can still get a seven inch by the way if you think this is too large for your vehicle in terms of mounting in terms of visibility this is how it looks like but overall i think this is a really good product for for the price for what it offers uh, for what you can get for your money everything and again if you're looking to purchase one um, it would be really great if you use my affiliate link down below that would be helpful i'll get a small commission from this company um, but you are not paying anything more than what you should pay by any means i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this is helpful if you have any questions leave a comment down below if you would like to see more videos about this please let me know as well that would be really helpful thank you very much see you in the next video